All right, what's up, everybody? Just wanted to make a video of some uh, uh, pretty important news. Uh, Rick Marigian, who uh, is the manager of Jose Ramirez and Gabe Flores, has signed four new fighters. All four fighters, uh, three, four officially, potentially five. Four of those five come out of Team RGVA. Uh, here you see him in a picture with uh, Gabe Flores, who is a uh, top rank promoted fighter. I think he's one of the youngest fighters ever signed by top rank. Uh, I believe he's 18 and 0. He's from Stockton, California, and Rick has done a fantastic job marketing him. And um, if I'm not mistaken, he uh, sold out a venue there in Stockton for the first time in Stockton history. So, um, he, that's 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 who he's been working with recently. He's been with Jose Ramirez since uh, Jose Ramirez turned pro back in 2012. Jose Ramirez is the unified 140 champion. Uh, he is promoted by top rank, but Rick Marigian does a lot of behind-the-scenes work for Jose Ramirez's career. Uh, he helps him land sponsors. He helps uh, promote his fights in local venues in the central valley in las vegas um so uh, i just wanted to make a video because rick has recently signed hector tanahara who is from san antonio he's promoted by golden boy he's 19 and 0 with seven ko's uh he's been be he's in the talks uh he's been in the talks for the for for the last six months to a year about fighting ryan garcia they're both from the same promotional company Hector's 19 and 0. I believe Ryan Garcia's 20 and 0. Um, so Hector Tanahara for the past five years since signing with Golden Boy has been managed by Robert Garcia. Well, Robert Garcia has passed the torch along with potentially four other fighters in his stable to Rick Marigian, which I think uh, could be very fruitful for these fighters. Uh, he's from San Antonio. The majority of his fights have been the majority of his fights have been here in uh, in Los Angeles and in Indio, uh, but they had Hector and Hector fought on the undercard. Him and Joshua Franco fought on the undercard last August, um, so a year ago, August tenth, a year ago, uh, on the undercard of Virgil Ortiz. I believe the date was August tenth there in. Um, Am I getting cards mixed up? I think I think so. Because Virgil had his own show. Virgil had his own show in Dallas in Grand Prairie. And uh, Joshua Franco and Hector fought at the Alamo Dome. So I'm off. I don't have the numbers in front of me. I don't have the dates. But they had their they had their own show at the Alamo Dome. Um, so forgive me for getting those mixed up. Um, but Hector Tanahara, 19 and 0, 7 KOs. You, there, the belt that you see on him right there is the WBC Youth Champion for lightweight. He fights at 135. So, um, what a perfect opportunity for somebody like Rick Marigian to come in and help negotiate tough deals. For example, one with Ryan Garcia or for other fighters that are 135. 135 is full with Lomachenkos and it's full with Devin Haney's and it's full with tons of prospects tons of contenders, and tons of top-notch champions. So uh, here you go, Hector Tanahara, uh, under the hands of Rick Marigian. He's going to continue being promoted by Golden Boy Promotions, but Rick Marigian will take over the manager role, which Robert Garcia had for the last five years. Uh, and then we're going to move on to Joshua Frankel, 17-1-2, newly crowned super flyweight world champion he went in as the underdog versus andrew maloney uh uh in the summer uh and the in the top ranked summer series in june in uh, june and july and he upset andrew maloney he took it to him he uh, came in very well prepared uh he just like hector turned pro in 2015 uh there under the watchful eye of robert garcia uh, he uh, started boxing in his early teens, and he won an am amateur, tournament, amateur tournament and just stayed with it. Um, when Robert 
took that package. He had a package of four fighters, I believe. Hector, Josh, Jonathan Navarro, and Genaro Gomez. And he wanted to sign all four fighters with top rank. And he just recently revealed that top rank actually rejected the offer to sign all four of them and only had interest in Hector Tanahara. So then Robert took that deal and presented it to Golden Boy. And Golden Boy kind of wanted to pick it apart as well. And Robert said, no, you either sign all four or you don't sign any of them at all. And um, the 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 hardest part of that deal was, Robert says, is Joshua Franco because of his weight class. He was fighting at 115, 118. And uh, those are hard guys to promote because the weight classes have less competition. And... Uh, and it's just harder. It's harder to to get networks to sign fights like those. So um, they were interested in Tanahara, which is one thirty five. They were interested in Jonathan Navarro, which is one forty. They were interested in Hanaro Gomez, which is one thirty five as well. But um, Robert said it was an all deal or no deal. And um, look, out of those four fighters that signed in twenty fifteen, the one that they least wanted to get involved with ended up becoming a world champion first. So uh, shout out to Joshua Frankel, 17, 1, and 2. He had a trilogy with Oscar Negrete that gave him tons of experience in order to be able uh, to fight at the elite championship level. Uh, he's been trained with his father. His father's at all his fights along with Robert Garcia. And he's the older brother to uh, flyweight sensation Bam Rodriguez. So uh, Joshua Frankel now being uh, managed by Rick Marigian. Here we have Jonathan Navarro at, fights at 140, 17-0, 9 KOs, uh, East LA native. So he's been with uh, with Robert for five years. And um, I think it's easier for him because he has a following. Because he's from East LA, he can sell seats in Indio and he can sell seats at the Belasco. He's, I think he personally sells the best out of all, all those four fighters that were signed because the two were coming from Texas, so it's harder for them to sell out here in L.A. or in Southern California. But I think Jonathan Navarro um, sells well here in East L.A. out of those four fighters, and I think Rick Marigian, uh will put something very well together for him. So shout out to him. Along with that deal... Um, who is not an RGBA fighter is Ruben Villa, who's 18 and 0. He's from Salinas. I believe he's promoted by Ken Thompson's uh, Promotions, who's a local uh, promoter here in the Inland Empire. The Inland Empire is a group of cities um, east of Los Angeles, Ontario, Pomona, where Shane Sh where Shane Mosley's from, Riverside, where the RGBA is from, Fontana where uh, there's a couple of Murataya brothers who are fighting out of Rancho Cucamonga. There's fighters coming out of Rancho Corona. All those cities all those cities, um, uh, are called the Inland Empire. So uh, Ken Thompson puts on a lot of shows together there in Corona. And um, I believe that's Ruben Villa's um, promotional, uh, who, who he has a promotional contract with. So uh, I just want to, I'm super excited about what Mick, Rick Marigian can do with these new guys. There is a rumor that Misael El Chino Rodriguez, who's 10 and 0, who's, uh, who's been with RGBA for two or three years, um, will also be part of this deal for Rick Marigian to, uh, to promote. That isn't official, but uh, Rick Marigian has posted that, um, that at least the four fighters are under his contract. So if you want to follow Rick Marigian, he's at Promoter559 on Instagram. He's also very active on Twitter. If you want to follow Hector Tanahara, Hector underscore Tanahara, uh, Professor Franco on Instagram, Thunder Navarro on Instagram, I'm Sontel Media. You can follow me on YouTube. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Sontel underscore media. You can follow me on Twitter at Sontel underscore media as well. Hope you're having a good day and more videos coming soon. Thank you.